Hi stargazers, here's what's going on in the sky this month. The highlights of February are Mercury shining brightly, a planetary lineup mid-month and Mars and Jupiter passing behind the moon. On the 10th of February, Mercury will reach its maximum eastern elongation. Mercury is closer to the sun than we are, so from our perspective, it moves through the sky close to the sun. It rises and sets around the same time, and this means that mostly we can't see it because it's in the daylight sky, hidden close to the sun. When it reaches its maximum eastern elongation, it means that from our perspective on Earth, the distance between Mercury and the sun is greatest, so there's a longer time between when the sun sets and when Mercury sets after it we are better able to see Mercury shining in the sky that has darkened after the sun has set. If you look west-southwest just after the sun has set, you will see Venus higher up in the sky and Mercury below it. It will look bright like a star. In fact, it can shine more brightly than the brightest star Sirius at this time, so you shouldn't have trouble identifying it. You'll only have an hour or so to see it before it follows the sun down over the horizon. On the 18th of February, Mars passes close to the waning crescent moon before dawn. Observers in America will see them at their closest. Those of you in St. John's in eastern Canada will see Mars disappear behind the moon just after 5am. And those of you in Hawaii will see Mars emerge from behind the moon at around 5.50am. And this will make for a great photo. The rest of us will see Mars approaching the moon in the two hours before sunrise in the southeastern sky. On the 19th and 20th of February, Jupiter will pass very close to the waning crescent moon. Those in the Pacific area will see it pass behind the moon. Those in Hawaii and the Western Pacific will have a particularly good view. If you're in Hawaii, you'll see Jupiter skimming the top edge of the moon around 5.45 a.m. New Zealanders will see this happen around 4.30 a.m. And those in Japan and much of Eastern Asia will see Jupiter moving away from the moon just after 5 a.m. This is always a great photo opportunity. In addition, you will see Saturn below the moon in the sky and Mars a bit further above, as this planetary lineup overtakes the moon in the sky. As the 5 a.m. timeline moves towards the Middle East and Europe, Jupiter will have already moved further away from the moon. And as we get to the Americas, it is Saturn that will be skimming the moon for observers in both north and south of the continent. Remember, if conditions are good, you might get a photo like this of our moon, Jupiter, and Jupiter's moons. And finally, on the 27th of February, Venus will pass close to the waxing crescent moon. I always look for Venus passing the moon because Venus is such a bright planet and it makes a great photo. It will be quite far from the moon, but in an interesting position. Together, they will look a bit like a reverse question mark. You should look low in the western sky just after sunset for this. That's what's happening this month in the sky. I hope the skies are clear where you are and you get to see all the great things happening this month. Join me in a few weeks for the March sky forecast. And if you like this one, please hit subscribe and the bell to get notifications. See you in a few weeks.